operations and maintenances of XS125 vibratory road roller. XS125-XS125 PD vibratory road roller is a heavy-duty self-propelled fully hydraulic single steel drum double drive vibratory roller developed especially for European market. This product conforms to the Eurostage V emission regulation, featuring high exciting force, high compacting efficiency, and good compacting quality. It's extensively applied for compacting the base and sub-base layers in rock landfills and highways, railways, airports, ports, dams, and industrial construction sites. Preparations before start Before start, ensure that no repair personnel is repairing on the road rotor. Rotate the power switch to on, position, Ensure that the emergency brake is already released and shift the traveling joystick to the middle gear P to ensure that the machine is under parking status. Adjust the steering wheel angle in the seat position to achieve optimal operating comfort and fasten the seat belt. Engine start. Check the sound light warning system, including horn and warning lamp. Rotate the ignition key switch to one position. Check the brake status sign, fuel indicator, add blue level indicator, and voltage indicator on the display screen for normal indications. Check the brake system for reliable working. Position the road roller under stationary status. Enter the brake test interface and perform the parking brake test and push the joystick from P towards F. After several seconds, the parking brake result is displayed on the display screen. Push back the joystick to P position. The parking brake test result is displayed on the display screen. If the test fails, the above prompt interface is displayed. In such case, please contact XCMG repair personnel for repairs. Press the start slash stop button or continue to rotate the ignition key switch to rotate the starter motor and thus start the engine. Once the engine is started, immediately release the ignition key switch. Notice, the driver must sit on the seat, otherwise the engine can't be started. If the diesel engine fails to start, wait for 2-3 minutes before retry. Do not exceed 5 consecutive starts each time. Preparation before driving Before driving the road roller, make sure to close the cab doors. After the start of engine, idle the engine, with joystick in gear, P or N, for several minutes. Press the button on the button panel. For short distance sight transfer, please select the transfer mode. For compacting operation, please select the working mode. Rotate the steering wheel leftward and rightward for one time each to check the steering system for normal working. Driving of Road Roller Select the required mode. There are two modes for XS125. 1. Working mode, with speed range at 0.5 km h. 2. Transfer mode, with speed range at 0.11 km h. To drive forward the road roller, push the joystick from gear P via gears, N and O to F. To drive backward the road roller, push to R. When the joystick is returned to gear N, the parking brake will be activated after 2 seconds. When the joystick is returned to gear P, the parking brake is activated immediately and the engine will return to idling status after 10 seconds. Under working mode, the speed limiting knob can control the speed within 0.5 km h to limit the maximum speed of road roller. Under transfer mode, the speed limiting knob can control the speed within 0.11 km h to limit the maximum speed of road roller. The speed of the road roller is proportional to the traveled angle of joystick from the neutral position. The larger the traveled angle from neutral position is, the higher the speed is. During driving, check all indications on the display screen for normal values. The hydraulic oil temperature shall not exceed 75 degrees Celsius generally and not exceed 80 degrees Celsius at most. The water temperature shall generally not exceed 98 degrees Celsius.
If the water temperature or oil temperature rise sharply, it indicates probably leakage in the system. If the water temperature exceed 102 degrees Celsius, immediately stop the engine for checking. Notice. If the engine oil pressure, water temperature, or after treatment warning is displayed on the display screen, it indicates that the diesel engine is malfunctioned. Immediately stop the engine and check and solve the malfunction. In event of out of control of the forward slash reverse joystick or steering operation, immediately use the brake button to stop the machine and check for malfunction. Vibration of road roller. 1. Selection of working mode. 2. Selection of vibrating amplitude. As shown in the diagram, press both buttons 2 and 3 to select large vibrating amplitude, 30 Hz. Press both buttons 4 and 3 to select small vibrating amplitude, 35 Hz. After the selection of vibrating amplitude, the previously selected vibrating amplitude is cancelled automatically. 3. Selection of vibrating mode. Press the button 5. When the lower backlight of this button turns on, the road roller is under manual vibration mode and the start and stop of the vibrating are controlled by the driver. When the upper backlight of this button turns on, the road roller is under automatic vibration mode and the start and stop of vibrating are controlled by the traveling speed of the road roller. After one vibrating mode is selected, the previously selected vibrating mode is cancelled automatically. It's void to select vibrating mode during the vibrating of road roller. 4. Start and stop of vibrating. Under the automatic vibrating mode, the start and stop of the vibrating depend on the traveling speed of the road roller. The automatic vibrating start speed can be set in the functional interface. Under the manual vibrating mode, press the vibrating button to start the vibrating of road roller and press it again to stop the vibrating of the road roller. Notice, under automatic vibrating mode, the speed is 0.5 km for first gear, 1 km for second gear, and 1.5 km for third gear. To avoid damage to the machine, do not operate with vibration when the roller is stationary or traveling at a speed below 0.5 km per hour. It's prohibited to start the vibrating of road roller on a solid ground. Braking of road roller 1. Service brake It's completed by the traveling controls. When the forward slash reverse joystick is in gear in, the hydrostatic drive of hydraulic system is utilized to slow down and stop the road roller. 2. Parking brake. The spring applied and hydraulic released brakes on the vibrating drum can be used as parking brake and can immediately apply the braking when the diesel engine is stopped or the hydraulic circuit oil pressure drops to zero. After the stop of road roller, Push the forward slash reverse joystick outward to gear P to apply the parking brake so that the road roller will not slide. If the machine is parked on a slope, block the machine by wooden blocks. Three, emergency brake. In event of any emergency, push down the emergency brake button to immediately apply the braking and stop the machine. During braking, securely hold the steering wheel. After the machine is stopped completely, reset the emergency brake button. Do not push down this button during driving, unless in event of an emergency, such as failure of service brake. It's prohibited to reuse this button frequently. Notice. During the high-speed traveling of road roller, applying the emergency braking will probably burn the brake within the drive motor and will reduce her in the brake of drive axle to result in unnecessary repairs of the road roller. Stop. 1. Shift the forward slash reverse joystick to gear and to stop the road roller. 2. Push the forward slash reverse joystick outward to gear. P to place the road roller under braking status. 3. Idle the engine for several minutes. 4. Press the start slash stop button or rotate counterclockwise the ignition key switch to stop the engine. Maintenances of product.
before the routine maintenances of product. Park the road roller on a horizontal road, stop the engine, and lift the engine hood by a lifting switch. 1. Refueling Check the diesel level in the fuel tank and ensure that the fuel in the fuel tank will not be used up, otherwise it will result in air ingress into the fuel system. The maximum refueling capacity is 260 liters. 2. Filling of AdBlue Check the AdBlue level and add AdBlue timely and ensure that the AdBlue in the AdBlue tank will not be used up. The maximum filling capacity is 33 liters. 3. Checking of engine oil level. Check the oil level by oil dipstick. Withdraw the oil dipstick. Wipe away the oil from the end of oil dipstick by a clean cloth. Reinsert the oil dipstick, and then withdraw the oil dipstick again. The oil level shall be between upper and lower limits of the oil dipstick. If the oil level is close to the lower limit, add the oil. Unscrew the engine oil filler port on the engine hood and add diesel engine oil through a funnel till the oil level is between the upper and lower limits of the oil dipstick. Do not add excessive oil, otherwise the engine parts, such as crankcase, will be damaged. 4. Checking of engine coolant level. Observe the level of coolant in the water tank via the observation port to verify whether the system is already filled fully with antifreeze. Check the system for leakage. Add clean antifreeze into the water radiator through the filler port till the level reaches the middle red position of the observation port. It's prohibited to add water or the mixture of water and antifreeze. 5. Checking of hydraulic oil tank oil level. The oil level of hydraulic oil tank can be observed on the left rear side of the road roller. Check the oil pointer. If the oil level is below the top of transparent glass by greater than 2 cm, add the hydraulic oil. Upon detection of dropped oil level, check oil pipeline system and connectors for oil leakage. 6. Checking of clearance between mud scraper and drum. Check the mud scraper for damage and for departure from drum surface and ensure a 15-20 mm clearance between mud scraper and drum. If the mud scraper is worn, loosen the scraper adjustment nut to adjust the scraper. If the mud scraper is seriously worn, replace it. During the site transfer, to prevent unnecessary wear of scraper, please screw and detach the adjustment screw to lift up the scraper from the drum surface. During use, please unscrew the screw to approach the scraper to the drum surface. 7. Checking of reliable working of brake. Check the brake as per the method of Section 8 of Part 3. 8. Checking of emergency brake system. Run the engine at low idling speed and position the machine under stationary status. Push down the emergency stop button. The engine shall stop immediately and the electric system shall power off immediately. If not, the emergency stop button is functioning incorrectly and the immediate repair is required. Please contact your XCMG partner for further support. 9. Checking of wheel reducer lubricating oil. Park the road roller on a horizontal ground and thoroughly clean the areas around the oil filler plug and oil level plug. Unscrew the oil filler plug and oil level plug and fill lubricating oil through oil filler plug till the oil flows out from the oil level plug. Screw the oil filler plug and oil level plug and put the road roller into operation. 10. Checking of air filter warning lamp. The air filter is provided with pressure drop display device, which is connected to the warning lamp on the display. During the high-speed running of engine, if the air filter icon on the display screen turns red and the buzzer sounds, it indicates that the cleaning of filter is required. 11. Checking of vibrating drum oil level. Park the road roller on a horizontal road, adjust the oil drainage plug to 12 o'clock position, wipe clean the surrounding area of the oil level plug, loosen the oil level plug, and check for outflow of lubricating oil. If not, unscrew the oil drainage plug and add oil through the oil drainage port till the oil flows out from the oil level plug. Tighten the oil drainage plug and oil level plug. 12. Checking of drive axle oil level. 
One park the road roller on a flat road and move the machine to position the wheel reducer oil plugs to horizontal centerline. 2. Stop the engine. If necessary, cool down the oil to prevent scalding. 3. Unscrew the oil level plugs of wheel and main reducers on both sides. The oil shall flow through the checking position threaded ports. 4. If the oil level is low, please add oil. The required oil volume is approximately 4 liters for each side. 13. Checking of shock pads and fastening screws. Check the shock pads for damages, such as cracking, and check fastening bolts for secure fastening. Upon detection of 10-15 mm deep crack in any shock pad, replace it. If the number of damaged shock pads exceeds one-third of the total number, replace the whole set of the shock pads. 14. Checking of battery. Check the battery cables for secure connection. Upon detection of any corrosion on the wiring terminals, remove it and then apply deacidified Vaseline. 15. Checking of hydraulic oil tank filler cap. The hydraulic oil tank filler cap is the sole means of the hydraulic oil tank to lead to the open air and its vent port must be kept non-obstructed. If necessary, clean the oil filler cap by diesel. Unscrew the oil filler cap, disconnect the cap rope, clean the filler cap by clean diesel, and air dry it. 16. Checking of engine belt. Attached with belt checking video, please refer to the operation and maintenance manual of engine. Notice. Make sure to stop the engine before checking the engine belt. 17. Checking of machine body label cleanliness. Check all danger, warning, notice labels and other labels on the machine body for damage and loss. Upon detection of any damaged or lost label, please purchase new one from XCMG and affix it to the body. If any label is contaminated by dirt, please clean by detergent. 18. Cleaning of main filtration components of air filter. Loosen the circlip on the air filter cover, take out the air filter cover, withdraw the main filter element, and check the inside of main filter element for presence of dusts. Upon detection of dusts, remove by compressed air. Withdraw the outer filter element and blow clean the main filter element by compressed air and pressure of no more than 5 bar, 0.50 megapascals slash 5 kilograms. After checking, clean the inner walls of air filter housing, inner walls of air filer cover, and whirl plates by clean cotton cloths, reinstall the main filter element and whirl plates, and keep downward the dust discharge port of air filter. Check the seal ring for intactness and replace if defective. Finally, install the air filter cover. Notice. Generally, after the outer filter element is ever cleaned for three times or if the warning lamp is still on after the replacement of outer filter element, which indicates the blockage of inner filter element, replace the inner filter element, as the inner filter element is non-cleanable. 19. External cleaning of engine radiator and hydraulic oil radiator. Open the hood and carefully clean the cooling fins of composite radiator by compressed air or high-pressure water. After cleaning, start the engine to vaporize the water in the composite radiator. In such case, the road roller is under non-working status, in order to prevent the adhesion of dirt from causing difficult cleaning. 20. Full drainage of fuel strainer. Place a waste oil container in capacity of 5L beneath the left side of rear frame. Place a funnel to the bottom of fuel strainer. Connect a hose and connect the waste oil container by the round port on the bottom of engine compartment. Open the drainage valve on the bottom of fuel strainer to flow the separated water and deposits into the waste oil container till the clean fuel flows out and then close the drainage valve. Bleed the air if necessary. Loosen the air bleeding plug, press the filler button on the fuel strainer repeatedly, till the fuel flowing out from the air bleeding plug is free of air bubble, and then tighten the air bleeding plug. 21. Replacement of engine oil and engine oil filter. Filter element model, 8605097310. 
Run the engine till the coolant temperature reaches 60 degrees Celsius. Stop the engine. Place a waste oil container in capacity of greater than or equal to 15 liters onto the ground beneath the engine. Unscrew the oil filler cap and the oil drainage plug on the oil sump to drain the hot engine oil. Meanwhile replace the engine oil filter. Unscrew the engine oil filter element by hand or belt wrench, 90-95 mm, and wipe clean the sealing surface of filter seal to thoroughly remove the residues of old filter seal ring. Before installing the engine oil filter, fill clean lubricating oil into the filter and lightly apply an oil film to new seal ring. Screw new filter element by hand, till the seal ring comes into close fit, and then tighten it for half turn. Wipe clean the plug and reinstall. Fill approximately 14 liters lubricating oil. Check oil level by oil dipstick and ensure that the oil level is between upper and lower limits of the oil dipstick and install the oil filler cap. Start the engine, run the engine for warm up, and check for presence of oil leakage. Notice. Do not tighten the filter element too tight, otherwise the seal ring will be damaged. Mechanically tightening the filter element excessively will damage the thread. Start the engine and check the sealing performance. Make sure to use correct engine oil filter. 22. Replacement of engine fuel fine filter element. Filter element model. 800. 154401. Unscrew the fuel filter element. Take cautions that the fuel will flow out. Wipe clean the sealing surface of filter cover and lightly apply a film of clean diesel onto new seal ring. Before installation, fill clean diesel into the filter. Screw new filter element by hand or belt wrench till the seal ring comes into close fit and then tighten it for half turn. Bleed air from fuel system. Start the diesel engine and check for presence of oil leakage. 23. Replacement of Oil Reducer Lubricating Oil Before draining the oil, drive the road roller to warm up the wheel reducers, or drain the oil immediately after the working of road roller. Park the road roller on a horizontal road. Wipe clean the areas around the oil drainage plug, oil filler plug, and oil level plug. Place a clean container in capacity of 5 liters beneath the oil drainage plug and unscrew the oil drainage plug, oil filler plug, and oil level plug to drain the oil. Then, screw the oil drainage plug, fill approximately 3 liters lubricating oil through the oil filler plug, till the oil flows out through the oil level plug. Screw the oil filler plug and oil level plug and put the road roller into operation. 24. Replacement of Engine Fuel Strainer Element Filter Element Model 800 154400 Stop the engine, unscrew the fuel filter element, and install new fuel filter element. Loosen the air bleeding plug. Press the filler button on the fuel strainer repeatedly, till the diesel flowing out through the air bleeding plug is free of air bubble, and then tighten the air bleeding plug. 25. Replacement of Hydraulic Oil Filter Filter Element Models 8044134468 and 8044134496 Place a waste oil container beneath, thoroughly clean the surrounding area of filter, and disassemble the filter element. Carefully wipe clean the sealing surface on the filter cover. Apply oil onto the seal ring. Install new filter element by hand till the seal ring fits tightly, and then tighten further for half turn. After assembling, check for oil leakage. Ensure there is no oil permeation before starting the machine for working. Notice. Do not leave old seal ring on the filter seat, otherwise there will be leakage between new and old seals. 26. Replacement of air filter safety element. Main filter element assembly model, 86061-1014. Safety element assembly model, 86061-1014.
Loosen the circlip on the air filter cover. Take out the air filter cover. Withdraw the main filter element. Take out the safety filter element. Replace with new safety filter element. Clean the inner walls of air filter housing. Inner walls of air filer cover and whirl plates by clean cotton cloths. Replace with new main filter element. Reinstall the whirl plates and install the air filter cover. Notice. Replace the main filter element along with the replacement of safety filter element. Generally, after the outer filter element is ever cleaned for three times or if the warning lamp is still on after the replacement of outer filter element, which indicates the blockage of inner filter element, replace the inner filter element. Do not leave old seal ring on the filter seat, otherwise there will be leakage between new and old seals. 27. Replacement of Vibrating Drum Oil Park the road roller on a horizontal position. Adjust the oil drainage plug to 6 o'clock position. Place a waste oil container in capacity of 50 liters near the drum in such manner that the waste oil within the drum can flow into the container. And unscrew the oil drainage plug to fully drain the lubricating oil from the drum. Clean the filler plug and drainage plug. Start the road roller, adjust the oil filler plug to 12 o'clock position. Fill lubricating oil, approximately 18 L, through oil drainage port by a funnel and hose, and tighten the oil filler plug. Move the machine to oil check status and check the oil level. Fill oil till the oil flows out through oil drainage plug and then tighten the oil drainage plug. 28. Replacement of Coolant Replace the coolant after the engine is fully cooled. Place a waste fluid container in capacity of 40 liters beneath the water drainage valve and open the water drainage valve to drain the coolant into the waste fluid container. After full drainage, tighten the water drainage valve. Fill pure antifreeze into the water radiator through the water filler port. It's prohibited to fill water or the mixture of water and antifreeze. Add antifreeze into the cooling system till the level reaches the middle red marking of the sight glass, approximately 35 liters. Notice. Make sure to wait for the full cooling of engine before replacing the coolant. 29. Replacement of drive axle oil. Move the road roller till the wheel reducer oil plugs on both sides are at lowest position. Disassemble the lower closure plates of machine body. Place a container of appropriate capacity beneath the oil drainage plugs of wheel and main reducers, and unscrew the oil drainage plugs to collect the drained oil. After the full drainage of oil, reinstall the plugs. Filling of oil. Park the road roller on a flat road and move the machine to position the wheel reducer oil plugs to horizontal centerline. Disassemble the filler plug and level plug on the main reducer. Fill approximately 8 liters oil into main reducer till the oil flows out through the level plug port. Fill approximately 4 liters oil each through the checking position plug ports of wheel reducers on two sides respectively till the oil flows out through the ports. Tighten the oil filler plugs and ensure no leakage during installation. 30. Filling of lubricating grease. Apply lubricating grease to the cab hinges, hood hinges, articulations, and lubricating nipples of vibrating drum respectively by grease gun. 31. Oil drainage and cleaning of hydraulic oil tank. Place a container in capacity of greater than or equal to 100 liters beneath the oil drainage plug of hydraulic oil tank and unscrew the oil drainage plug of hydraulic oil tank to fully drain the oil. Disassemble the hydraulic oil tank guard plates and hydraulic oil tank cap and clean the inside and outside of oil tank, the hydraulic oil tank cap, the oil drainage plug of hydraulic oil tank, and the surrounding area of oil drainage plug. Screw the oil drainage plug of hydraulic oil tank and fill hydraulic oil till the oil level reaches the middle upper portion of the level gauge. The oil filling volume is approximately 125 liters. Install the hydraulic oil tank cap and check for leakage. 32. Drainage and cleaning of fuel tank. Place a waste oil container enough to accommodate the residual fuel of fuel tank to the left side of rear frame. 
Unscrew the drainage plug by Allen wrench and drain the fuel through the funnel and hose into the waste oil container to fully drain the residual fuel from the fuel tank along with the deposits accumulated on the bottom of fuel tank. When necessary, add some clean fuel through the filler port to flush the tank twice. Tighten the drainage plug by Allen wrench. Check for leakage. Add clean fuel into the fuel tank and install the fuel tank cap. Notice. Pay special attention to the fire protection during the drainage and cleaning of the fuel tank. This video is for demonstration only. For the actual operations and questions, please strictly refer to the operation manual of the product.